Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for, this is for um, November. So this could happen at any time in November, all right? So we're just gonna see what comes up. This reading may or may not be for you. First card came out and flipped over is Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Now you are a fixed sign, so you can go ahead and point the finger at somebody else if you want, but my guess is that it is you, okay? There's something that you need to change, okay? You may not want to admit it, but that's fine. Um, there's something that you need to change, okay? Uh, what else do we have for Leo? What else do we have for Leo in November? There's something that you are going to need to change your perspective on. What do we have for Leo? Mm. We have a drama queen here. We have somebody that acts like a drama queen. What else do we have for Leo? Rejection is God's protection. Remember that. Rejection is God's protection. Maybe you've been rejected by somebody and it's got you in your feelings and you're feeling all over the place and you're having a hard time letting go. Okay? Oh, let's get one of these. But you need to remember that rejection truly is God's protection. I was just thinking about this yesterday about rejection being God's protection. It truly, truly, truly is, okay? So what do we have for Leo? Give me one card for Leo, please. Three of Gabrielle. Prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So this is the three of wands. It's time to take that next step. It's time to expand yourself. Prosperity will arise from your expansion, okay? You have some sort of plan that you need to put into place. Maybe you've been stalling or you've been too busy or you've been making excuses or whatnot. It's time, it's time for you to put those plans in action and you will be successful and you will see an increase in prosperity. So what do we have for Leo? The moon and death. I just shuffled a minute and then cut the deck. So the moon is all as not as it seems. There's some sort of illusion here. Death is a major ending. Okay, it's a separation or a loss or an ending with a new beginning to follow. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Um, the moon is Pisces or Cancer, this is Scorpio. But death is a, is a profound life change. And uh, there's hidden forces here. There's some sort of hidden forces here that is, that is causing some sort of ending in your life. What you see is not what you get. There's something that is hidden below the surface that you may not be aware of. There is going to be an ending. There is, and there's some sort of illusion here. It's like you're not seeing something as it is, okay? Um, there's an ending, there's an ending. And I feel like it's with, a, obviously, it feels like it has to do with somebody that is a water sign. That's what it feels like. Um, I could be wrong, but there's going to be an ending. And a new beginning to follow, okay? What do we have for Leo? I do have a cold, a chest cold. Um, it's, I'm at the tail end of it now, but if you hear me cough, that's what it is. Ooh, the Empress, middle card. So you're going through a rebirth right now. You're going through the birth of a new life. It's time, okay? It's time. It's time for you to receive a blessing. 
by the looks of things. I feel like you're glowing. If you are a masculine watching this, you are dealing with a woman who is ready. She's beautiful, okay? She's ready. She's ready to give birth. She's ready to care and love. She has a lot of love to offer. If you are the feminine, this is you. You're ready. You have a lot of love to offer, okay? And everybody can see it. You're beautiful. The feminine, okay? The feminine here is absolutely ready. She's, she's done all her work. She's ready for her blessing. And a blessing is coming. A blessing is coming. Ooh, star card reversed. So the star card reversed is uh, doubtful. It's doubtful. It's, it's like, uh, I don't know, maybe there's some sort of fear here. There's a need to have faith. Maybe you're really afraid. I mean, that's the challenge. The challenge on the Empress. And maybe you're really afraid. You're really afraid to have this new birth, this new life, or... Or something like this. This is this could be depression. Why is this happening? I think that your faith is being tested. Your faith, your faith in a new beginnings is being. Your faith in yourself may even be tested. Now the star card reverse is typically why is this happening? Why is this happening? Everything happens for a reason. Remember, rejection is God's protection. A blessing is coming for you. It is coming. You may not have faith. You may not believe. You know, or this may not be exactly what you asked for. It may not be in the shape or form or, uh, yeah, the shape or form that you envisioned, okay? That's what happens when you give birth. You never know what that birth is going to look like, okay? It may not be exactly what you thought it was going to be. The sun card is the is the focus. Oh, she just knocked her blanket off. The blanket went on the floor. Uh, behind you is the tower. So that's in your past. Above you is the eight of swords. Ace of wands in your future. Wheel of fortune in reversed down in your advice. Emperor outside influence in reversed. Uh, hopes and fears, page of wands. Your overall outcome, four of cups reverse, which is good. Somebody that is now interested. I don't know if somebody wasn't interested or, or they rejected you or you rejected them. There's, this is like now looking forward. We have somebody here that is going to be looking forward. Now they're interested. So I'm not sure if, they, if you have been rejected by somebody that was uh, power hungry or they weren't being logical. You've been hoping for a new beginning. You've been hoping for a new adventure. Maybe you've been abused. I feel your outside influence is the emperor reversed. Now this could be an Aries, doesn't have to be. This is somebody that is very controlling, maybe narcissistic, maybe even a tyrant. This is somebody that may have deserted you in your time of need. They have abused you in some way. Um, this is somebody that is corrupt, maybe even does things, you know, illegal. This could be a corrupt leader. This is in your outside influence. I feel like you've been, um, dealing with somebody that is power hungry. They're power crazy, you know, or they're just not very experienced. This may be somebody who doesn't have a lot of life ex experience and doesn't know how to handle themselves. Um, your advice is the wheel of fortune reversed. I feel like you need to uh, stop clinging to the past. This is clinging to control, clinging to the past, reluctant to move on. Maybe you need to move on. You need to stop uh, repeating the same negative patterns. That's what that's what the wheel of fortune reversed is. I mean, that's in your advice card. Don't don't keep repeating the same mistakes, okay? I feel like your past mistakes keep coming back to haunt you because your faith is being tested. You're, because that, that star card reverse is a test of faith. It's a test of your dreams. And the empress is, uh, she knows her value, okay? She doesn't falter. She doesn't, she doesn't, um, she's not easy, okay? She's not easy. She's, she's the queen of all queens, so I feel like your, your faith in yourself, your faith, faith in, you know, uh, who you are is being tested. What is your value? The Empress is about value, okay? She's very abundant. She's, she's uh, the goddess of love. She's tender, loving care. She has so much to offer. She does everything with love. So I feel like, you know, you have been compromising. You've been compromising your values and compromising your beliefs and compromising who you are for people that don't respect you. And so this is probably has to do with the lesson behind you is the tower. 
the tower reversed, a permanent loss. I feel like you have experienced a permanent loss or you have experienced a major setback. I see that with the Wheel of Fortune reversed as well. You've experienced some chaos. Um, maybe you've had to leave a situation suddenly or you had a sudden ending in your life. That happened for a reason because it wasn't stable, it wasn't secure, it was false. There was a lot of lies. There was stuff going on that you couldn't see. And we see that with the moon card. There's a lot of things that were hidden, you know, that you couldn't see about whoever it was that you were dealing with. But the basis of your situation is the sun card, which is your card. Okay, so I think that you're definitely glowing. It's right underneath. It's right underneath the Empress. I think you're in a really beautiful place. If you, if you are the masculine, you are dealing with a beautiful woman, somebody that can help, that can bring growth into your life. We definitely have a feminine energy here that uh, grows things, you know. This is somebody who is very creative, that is very light. This is, this is beautiful. I feel like you have been through a period of healing. I feel like you are still healing. I think that you've been uh, in a place where you've become enlightened through some sort of major, I don't know if it's a major rejection or a major disruption that you had. Something crumbled, something fell apart. I think it fell apart really, really fast. But I feel like it all happened for a reason. It did happen for a reason because whoever you're dealing with, whoever you were dealing with, was false. They were very false. Okay, they they had they told a lot. They tell a lot of lies. They still do. Okay, they still do. That's why it ended. But I feel like you uh, you're still happy, right? You're still happy. You're still glowing. You're still beautiful. You're still in your love energy. You still. I mean, you, at, at points you may lose faith in love, but I think it comes back pretty fast, okay? Maybe so, at times you lose faith in humanity and you're like, you know, why do I even try? Why do I even do this when I just keep getting myself in these false situ situations where, you know, there's so many secrets and lies and there's just so much um, drama, Anyhow, this does have to do with a lesson because the Wheel of Fortune here is reversed. So that means you, the past just keeps, the pe previous mistakes just keep coming back to haunt you to see if you've learned, to see if you've learned your value, to see if you, you know your value and your worth, okay? Um, anyhow, the blanket's gone. The other cat knocked it down. So anyway, above you... Presently, this is trapped, okay? You're in a mindset where you're feeling some mental turmoil. I feel like you're probably held back. You're in a situation where you're maybe thinking a lot. You're confining yourself. You're restricting yourself. You're wondering, you know, what you should do. I know, the blanket is gone on the floor over there. Um, but... I think that you're, it's like you're running around in circles. It's like, where do I go now? What am I going to do now? What should I do? I think you're, you're feeling a little confused. I feel like you're in a place where it's like, I don't know what I'm going to do now, you know? Um, how do I get out of this situation? I feel like you're in a place where you're, you're like all over the place. Um, in the future, we have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is an exciting new opportunity. It could be a new sexual partner. It could be going in a new direction. It's a new vision. Um, so you are going to be going in a new direction in the future. There is, I feel like you are absolutely glowing. You have more options than you might know. Maybe you don't know it. Maybe you don't know it. Yeah, I think that you're restricting yourself. You're restricting yourself for for, for somebody that... I don't know if this person abused you or what. Somebody that has neglected you, they deserted you. Um, you may be feeling, you may be feeling distraught. It feels like you are feeling distraught or you have been. I think it comes and it goes because we have this sun card. It's like there's still happiness here. And I do see the birth of a new life. You are about to receive a blessing. You absolutely are. Okay. It's time. It's time for you to receive your, your blessing for all the, the trouble that you went through. Um, whoever you've been dealing with, um, let's get a card for that emperor reversed. They're very controlling. They ha they're very hard. They're very rigid.
Page of Swords. I think this person is watching you. They may be spying on you. Um, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like whoever you're dealing with is trying to change something. They're trying they're working, they're putting in effort. They're trying they're they're they may be doing research or they're thinking or they're maybe even coming up with a plan. Whoever you're dealing with, they may not be very experienced, they may be all over the place, they may be disorganized. This person, it feels like they're they're putting some plans together. If you take a look at this page of swords. You know, it feels like we have somebody here that is, is doing, maybe they're doing schooling or they're learning things or they're researching or, or they're just work, 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 working. Whoever you're dealing with may just really focus on their job. That could be work. You may be do, dealing with somebody that is more interested in their work or they're more interested in whatever it is that they're doing than they are interested in helping you or taking care of you. Um... The emperor reverse is somebody that is typically corrupt or abusive or rigid or cold or inexperienced, disorganized, uh, not qualified. Maybe, maybe they don't feel like they're qualified for the position. This could be a father figure. There could be even somebody here that has father issues. You know, there's somebody here that may have some father issues. You know, they weren't they weren't taken care of from a from a father, so that's why they have control issues now. But I feel like we have somebody here that is trying. I feel like they're trying to focus who whoever you're dealing with is burying themselves in their work thinking a lot they're thinking i think they're thinking about you a lot in your hopes and fears we have the page of wands that's exciting news an offer or an invite you may be hoping and praying maybe you're you, maybe you are waiting for somebody to send you an offer or an invite one will be coming. It will be coming. Somebody is interested. They are interested. They may not have been interested before, but now they are. They are interested. I feel like you are going to be traveling. You're going to be going somewhere or somebody's going to be coming to you with that three of wands. Get prepared. There's either You're either going to be leaving a situation that you're in or somebody is coming towards you. You have to be open-minded, okay? Do not be stubborn. You have to be open to change during this time. Get prepared. You are about to receive something. If you are a masculine watching this, you're going to have to open your heart. You cannot be rigid. You cannot be rigid and cold because you. if you are a masculine watching this, you have an empress. You do have an empress here, okay? You have an empress here. Okay, that's what she wants, okay? So, so if you are a masculine, you have an empress here who is going to take care of you. You have to believe and you have to have faith. If you are a masculine, you can't be rigid and cold. You have to invest. You have to put in effort. You have to communicate. You know, you can't do no silent treatment bullshit. Okay, you can't. Um, this is an opportunity here for an exciting new beginning. There is. There is. So this may be with somebody brand new. It definitely could be. Um, love is in the air. Love is definitely in the air. Get prepared. Get prepared. Be open. Be open. The past is the past. The tower is in the past. Whatever ended, ended for a reason. Okay? It did. Um, you're going to be receiving a message. You're going to be receiving an opportunity or an offer. This offer is something that you have been waiting for. It's going to break you free from this trap, this prison that you've been in because of that eight of swords. You've been in a situation that it feels like prison and, and it's like you've been stuck there. This is going to help you. This is freedom. It is freedom because mirroring that eight of swords is the sun card and the sun card is freedom. Okay. So... Anyhow, it feels like this is a month of, of looking forward now, new exciting beginnings with that Ace of Wands. You need to have faith. 
Okay. Yeah. Listen. Stop. You need to stop. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs>